Do you want to know how to change policies in Shopify? In the next few minutes, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about replacing Shopify policies. My name is Elise Nelson and I help tech challenge makers build a profitable e-commerce brand. Thanks for joining me on my YouTube channel where I offer lessons that are 15 minutes or less to help you grow your e-commerce shop. In this short video, I'm going to share with you how to set up privacy policy in Shopify and how to set up your return policy on Shopify. But before we jump into this maker lesson, I'd love to know when was the last time that you updated the policies on your website? Leave a comment and let me know. All right, so the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come to settings. So you're gonna go into your Shopify admin area, click settings here on the lower left, and then we're gonna go into policies. So this is where the actual policies for your Shopify website live. and Shopify actually will give you a template for the refund policy and they will also give you a template for the privacy policy and then the terms of service there is a template as well and then for the shipping policy you have to create your own and then there's also a place for your contact information and again there is a template for that as well. So all of these live in settings policies and you can update the policies here. But there's additional places you'll want to check to make sure that you get your policies updated everywhere that they live. Now, before we jump into the rest of the lesson, please like this video and comment with the word policies to let me know you want more content like this. Also, be sure to stick with me to the end of the video to learn your challenge for today and implement what you've learned. All right, so let's go ahead and look at another place where you're going to want to look for your policies. So if we go into the admin area again, you're going to go to online store and then pages you'll want to check and see if you have anything here that talks about your policies and procedures, um, shipping, returns, anything like that, um, and see if you have a page that you've created specifically for this purpose. So here on mine, I don't have anything like those, but I have a frequently asked questions. So you may want to double check and see if on your frequently asked questions, you have anything about your refund policies, your privacy policies, anything like that, and update that if necessary. Now, if you want more help with your e-commerce brand, be sure to subscribe and sign up for notifications so that you don't miss any of my videos that are 15 minutes or less to help you grow your e-commerce shop. So we actually have one more place to look for your policies, and that is to go in to the, again, the admin area of your site. You're going to go to online store and navigation, and you want to check and see where your menus are taking people when they want information about your policies. So for my website, I have a separate mobile and desktop menu, so I would need to check both of these. But I recommend going into each of your menus and checking to see if there's anything in them about your policies. So for me, I keep my policies under more info. So here you can see I've got my refund policy, my shipping policy. So if I click on edit, I can see what it's linking. And do you see how it's saying that it's linked to the shipping policy? That means it's linked to that policy that we looked at in the settings area of the admin part of your site. So that one is going to be using the one that I already have. So then if I hit refund and I hit edit, it is connected to the refund policy that is in those policies in the settings. So my recommendation is that you use the policies from your settings for these links so that you don't have to worry about updating a page um, or some other source. But a lot of stores create a page for these. And so you want to make sure you update them there as well if you are using a page. So for my particular menu, those two are already drawing from where I want them to. So I could go ahead and check my mobile menu and see if it's the same. Now I know it is, but that's the, the, those are the three places that you're gonna to wanna to check anytime you update your policies. Make sure you update them in the policy section of the settings. Make sure you check for any pages that may need things updated. And you're gonna to wanna to check your navigation menu to make sure that you don't need to update any of those. Now today's question was, when was the last time that you updated the policies on your website? Leave a comment and let me know. Plus, be sure to check out the rest of the videos in this playlist to learn more about how to build a website for sales. The link is in the description. Your challenge for today is to look at your shop policies and decide if it's time for an update. Once a month, I randomly pick one of the comments from the new videos that are released every week. And if you're subscribed to the My Schedule Biz YouTube channel, you will win a free ticket to my next social media challenge. Best of luck to you all. Don't forget to live your dream every single day.